hey girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jerenica Mycia but all my friends call me G and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face and if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads so in today's video girl I'm gonna be doing some false style inspo I'm gonna be styling up a couple looks and actually the looks that I have here I'm actually gonna be wearing them probably this week so if you see me out girl and I have on something that you're gonna see in this video or if you see it on the gram don't be surprised okay this just helps me get dressed a little easy especially when I know I have a very full week sometimes getting dressed can be overwhelmed because I overwhelming because I be girl just doing too much and you know this just helps me get dressed so I thought this would be a fun way to kind of like put my looks together but also share with the girls so if you're interested in this video keep watching all right now moving right along into the looks now this first look honey I have no idea where I'm gonna wear her to but I'm gonna wear it and I just paired this black Zara bodysuit with a black Zara pleated skirt now this skirt is old I purchased this skirt last year and the bodysuit suit should still be available I'm gonna link it down in the description box and I just thought this look was very very girly without the jacket so what I did was paired it with my Saint Laurent teddy jacket and it just gave it an edge but still very cute and girly it still have like a feminine touch but it's still edgy and that's the look that I was actually going for and especially with my hair like this it still gives it more like a, of a soft look but if I wanted to be more edgy I could easily like do a middle part or do just, just pull my hair back maybe into um half up half down but I thought for this look I want wanted it to be edgy but still very feminine and I just thought it was perfect so I also paired it with my black um Saint Laurent college bag and a pair of um Alexander Wayne boots now these boots honey I have been pulling these boots out with everything because this is like my go-to boot hold on let me show you the boots now when it comes to these boots look at this it has this gorgeous shield here in the front it's a smooth calf um skin leather it's kind of like my Givenchy Antigona bag but oh this is so good and look at the heel hold on let me show you look at that heel this is a boot girl I absolutely love these boots they're super comfortable and I'm happy I have these um the name of the boot is the Alexander Wang I believe this is the list boot um if I'm not mistaken I believe it is the oh I have hair somewhere on my face I, yeah, I believe this is the list boot. Now, I'm happy I have this boot because I'm loving this shield that goes up my leg. It has this little hook so the shoes can stay placed. Now, also, in this video while I'm trying on these, these boots, guys, you're going to see this hook kind of like not hooked because I didn't have time to keep hooking it and unhooking it but I'm happy I have these boots because you guys know I really want this um Givenchy Antigona shark lock um, Antigona the Givenchy shark lock boot those boots I want them in tall but everybody's saying how with those boots you know if you have large calves they won't fit they're hard to get on and off and I just don't need that drama and I really don't want those boots in a short so I just decided to just pull out my old faithful now these boots are not in current current season or in production these boots are very old I mean maybe like 2015 ish 2016 between I know they came out between like 2015 and maybe 2017 18 I'm not sure but these are not in production right now but I've been loving these okay now back to the look now with this look I wanted to keep it very soft and feminine but I knew that if I add a cute jacket and as soon as I saw the look the first jacket came in mind was the Saint Laurent um jacket because it just will add the right amount of edge not too edgy that it's going to take away from the feminine vibes that I want to go for but just add a little more character so I cannot wait to wear this I might wear this to this um women's empowerment thing I don't know if it's like a dinner but I think this would be perfect girl it's, it's a little much but she's much and all I have to do is like add a sunglass with it and just keep it pushing okay so look number two. Oh my god look number two I knew I wanted to wear the red trench coat from Michael Solrado that you guys should have seen this coat in my fall luxury haul I'm ready to pull her out so I was like let's do it so I styled her up with an all black look I'm planning on wearing this to like dinner but I still want it to like kind of transition so I'm most likely gonna change the shoes but anyways I paired this with a see-through um like a mesh top with a lace black bra underneath my um coated jeans by rag and bone oh 
these jeans girl i literally pull these jeans out every year all year I'm getting my cost per wear with these jeans. Um, I decided to pull out my Gucci Prince Town Mules for this. Now, with the shoes, I can easily switch the shoes. Let's say if I'm going just for drinks, something very casual, light, but I still wanted to do the most, a little zhuzh, I'm going to most likely change the shoes, especially if it's nighttime. If I want to wear this in the daytime and... See, I could also change the shirt because I just feel like this is giving more of like nighttime vibes but still want to be comfortable and cute. So most likely I'm going to change the shoes into the um Alexander Wang list boots. But I thought this was super cute and I'm just so pressed to pull out my Muse right now. And I paired it with the Givenchy Antigona Mini. Now the thing that set this whole look off, I always tell y'all, you need sunglasses. Look at the sunglasses, girl. You could not tell me nothing. It's just giving the people what they need, okay? Now with this look, I wanted to stick with the black sunglasses. I didn't go too oversized because I didn't want it to be like too much. And I knew these glasses would just tie everything together. They're super, super black, but have just a slight gloss to them. So it just makes everything look clean, sleek, and just very like zhuzhed up. So I'm just feeling this, but I cannot wait to wear this. Like now with my hair, I may not do my hair in a side part with this. I'm thinking about either a half up, half down, or maybe a nice straight middle part bust down. Mm, yummy. Okay. This look, I wanted it to be very clean and sleek and kind of like let all the pieces pop themselves. So I did not over accessorize. I just added a Saint Laurent Artie ring and I have this other ring that I got from TJ Maxx. It's, um, it's a dupe to the Just Include by Cartier. And that's what I did. I just kept it very, very simple with my butterfly necklace. Um, very dainty and small because I didn't want my accessories to just make this look look a little too much or too cheap now this next look is just a play on the look that you guys just seen so what I did was took off the red coat and I added my Frankie shop hoodie I kept on the um sheer shirt because I think it gave the outfit a little more personality and character and I kind of like how it's sticking out from under the um hoodie it just looks so good I added my um Hermes click clack bracelet and extra wide still paired this one. Oh no, I actually changed the bag I paired this look with my um Saint Laurent college bag because I feel like this look is a little more grungy and edgy So I felt like the Givenchy Antigona was still a little too cutesy So I wanted something a little more edgy and I feel like this did it now with this look I also um paired it with the um Alexander Wang boots and look at those boots y'all those boots are the bomb that shield on the front of that boot baby they knew what they were doing one thing about alexander wayne the brand i feel like they have very edgy pieces that's just so good just timeless and i'm just so happy that and i'm also happy that these are booties and not um a full boot so by my feet and the back of the foot is kind of like showing so it gives like a different contrast you can see like a little skin instead of it being a full boot and everything is completely um it's kind of like a peekaboo you know I like that also with this look I kept the same black glasses now these black glasses I get so many questions about them I believe I got these black glasses from Urban Outfitters and this was like when I worked at Saks so I'm gonna say that was like 2016 girl and I'm still rocking them so good and I absolutely love the look that it gives to like the, I love that it gives like this sleek but it's still kind of edgy if you know what I mean it just I love this look now this look I plan on wearing it I have dinner this week with a friend who's coming in town and most likely I'm gonna wear this the dinner is we can probably go like at six or five so it's not too late but it's still giving okay so I'm gonna be wearing this all right now this next look is probably gonna be probably my favorite because I have been beating myself up about wearing this let me just show y'all first of all i have on the same black sheer shirt that i had in a previous look um but i paired it this time with my balenciaga wrap skirt now guys with this skirt i have been beating myself up every year because i never pull it out i never wear this skirt and it's just so dang on good it's this balenciaga black red and white stripes oh y'all so good the detailing with the uh, black and white stripes with the red Balenciaga on it I'm just like obsessed like can we just get into it now with this look I wanted to keep it very very 
dark and like edgy because I feel like this skirt is already edgy on its own so I feel like the black would just tie any all of the pieces together now I could have done a white shirt but I feel like if I wear this um skirt in a daytime I will probably do it with a white top but most likely I'm gonna be going to dinner again and I'm gonna be wearing something more like dark and edgy so for some reason at nighttime that's when I like to pull out the dark colors but I am so ready to wear this skirt because I need to get my cost for wear I've been having this skirt for a good maybe two years and I never pull out I wore the skirt one time and that was literally to the car to the my seat and back home like I didn't even take a picture in it I'm just so ready to wear this and I just paired it with my red air mask click as accessories um my list boots y'all these boots you're gonna see them a lot this winter okay because I'm I'm literally obsessing over these shoes and I'm also pairing it with the mini Givenchy mini Antigona same glasses a lot of these things I'm just basically keeping the same accessories but pairing it with different looks because y'all why not I hate when people say things like oh you need to stop wearing this girl listen if I buy it I'm gonna wear it I don't believe in that don't once you take a picture in it you can't wear it no more I don't believe in that rule okay it, these are my clothes and I buy them to wear them okay so yes I repeat looks well not really looks but I probably recreate a look like let's say if I wear this look that you guys are seeing and I feel like mm, I could do this better so I'm gonna just wear something else again okay I don't believe in that whole once you take a picture and you don't wear it that's some tomfoolery but yes overall I absolutely love this look this is probably gonna be my favorite look of the week I'm not really sure how I want to wear my hair with this but girl I'm just I'm living I'm absolutely living and with this skirt this skirt is very comfortable it looks like in person hold on I could sh actually show y'all the skirt so this is the skirt now this is the front of the skirt it looks like a large oversized quilt but it says Balenciaga on it I don't know if you can see it it goes all the way around this is the back of the skirt but oh uh, look at that and underneath it it still says Balenciaga y'all the quality on this skirt everything it has a stretch waistband so it kind of like if I get bigger I can fit it if I get small I could I could fit it so that's another reason why I didn't mind paying the price for it but this is a piece that I'm just like journey because it's time to pull her out and I actually tried this on with I use it as like a layering piece so I put some black jeans on under it with my Alexander Wayne boots and I just fell in love girl so all of the pieces that I'm just loving I'm trying to wear them more and just kind of like get the cost for wear because sometimes when I be seeing things in my closet I'm like Ooh, why did you do that why did you do that you don't even wear it okay so the next look is more like a daytime look if I'm running out for coffee or I'm just gonna like hang out by myself take myself to lunch this is probably like a daytime look so I paired this H&M green jumpsuit that I purchased like years ago um I thought that was cute because y'all know right now I'm absolutely loving olive green but I thought this would be cute with the um Levon Le sneakers and I absolutely love the way it came out so good and I paired it with my Gucci sunglasses and handy dandy oh Givenchy Antigona now with these sneakers I thought these sneakers look absolutely adorable with this um jumpsuit if I wanted to I could add a hat but I did not add a hat because I kind of was feeling my hair this day and I was also feeling the way the glasses was looking with the um the hair this way so with this look most likely I'm going to keep my hair with a side part because I'm just absolutely loving now I do feel like it's slightly missing something I'm not really sure but I guess as I get dressed we'll just figure it out as we go but this right here this look I don't believe that this look is fully complete but this is just like the starting point I know I want to wear these sneakers with a jumpsuit I might end up switching out the bag or something something is gonna get switched out but I would definitely be wearing this because I absolutely love the sneakers with the olive green. I think the colors is just flowing perfect. And I think also the zigzag black and white um, laces on the sneakers, it just ties everything together and it just gives this look a little more personality. But this look I'm just sharing with y'all, but it's not fully complete. It's not the complete look. I'm going to tweak and change something. Not sure what, but something will be changed. Okay, now this last look, girl, it is so good. Oh okay? yeah, it's... it's, 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 it's it's good probably my fave I know I said the other one was my fave but this as I'm looking at it I'm like oh oh girl good um so what I did was pair this 
top right here that I'm wearing today, the Marine Sir. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This top with the um, cargo pants from the Karen Brit Chicks Amazon drop. So good, girl. So good. Um, And with a pair of my booties. Now, these booties are from Alaya. These shoes are no longer in production, but you can probably find them pre-loved. And I absolutely love these shoes. I pull them out every single year. These are platforms. You guys know I am obsessed and I live for a good platform. But these shoes just add life to any look that I anytime I pull these shoes out it just gives me what I need okay and as soon as I saw this look the first thing that came to my mind was these shoes the color is perfect it's like a it's not really gray it's like a to hold on I can actually show you they're right here so as you see they're not really gray but they're kind of like a taupe so these are like perfect to go with almost any look so I thought that this was perfect and I also paired it with my crossbody St. Laurent bag while I'm using it as a crossbody that bag can be a shoulder strap or crossbody and that is the St. Laurent Jamie bag and it's patchwork which is chef's kiss and also with my Gucci sunglasses now this look is a look I have no idea once again where I'm gonna wear it. I have to pick and choose where I'm gonna wear these pieces on which day because I have a lot of things planned this week but I cannot wait to wear this this I have to make sure I get a great picture and wherever I go I need to be seen in this because this is a good outfit okay I absolutely love 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 now when I first got this top I was like oh I'm gonna return it because you know I have two of these tops already I have the um sleeveless tanks when I tried on this top I was like no ma'am we are keeping her she's not going back up look at this this top is just too good and I'm just like I told y'all right now olive is my color and I just feel like this right here is such a good fall combo so we're keeping her and I just I can't wait to wear these looks, girl. All right, girl, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below. Maybe we can keep doing some fall style inspo. And let me know. If you guys like it, I will provide it. And yeah, I will see you girls in the next video.